Chosen Vessels, what's the deal? You already know what time it is. It's Drew Two. I'm back at you again with another video. I need each and every Chosen Vessel to smash that like button, smash that share button, and don't don't forget to subscribe. All right. It's Drew Nation. We back at you again with another video. Salute to the nation. All right, Drew Nation. Salute to uh the Galactic Family. All right. And yo, shout out to the Chosen Vessels. All right. Everybody press the like button, press the share button, don't forget to subscribe. Let's get right into it. Look, happy to be back, y'all. Look, prepare to come back better than ever. And yo, prepare to come back better than ever and show them exactly what they're looking for and who they're dealing with. They thought they were going to be able to take you out, but they don't understand where your strength comes from. They thought they were going to be able to take you out. They thought they were going to be able to, to shut you up. They thought they were going to be able to, to just make you stop and make you quit. But the thing is, they don't understand where your strength comes from, where your true power lies. It's not you where you get your strength from. All right, You, you get your strength from the source. You get your strength from an almighty power. And people, uh, not everybody appreciates truth. Not everybody uh, uh, appreciates truth. Uh, the real deal. Not everybody appreciates everything that um, is, is, is positive and not everything that's righteous. Some people are evil and demonic and that's just the way they like things. All right. Some people don't want to hear truth. Some people are, uh, uh, are closed minded. Some people don't want to see you perform your gift, whatever that may be. Whether you you're a hairstylist, whether you're a basketball player, all right, whether you you speak, whether you uh, pray, whether you read, whatever it is you do, somebody is going to hate you just for being you, and you have to accept that. You 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 could you could be a painter, you could be quiet, you could not make no noise, people would still have a problem with you. Why are you being so quiet? Why are you staying to yourself? Why are you always working on? And why are you always in your room? Why are you always in the house? Why you don't ever come outside? Why you, people will always people would find a problem with anything that you do. So one thing that you have to do is just be yourself. And if people don't like who you are, that's their own fault. That's their problem. That doesn't have anything to do with you. But when people try to wipe you out, right? They don't realize that you have. A, a, a secret power. They don't realize you have a superpower because you're not you're you're not working on your strength. You're working on uh, the joy of the Lord. You're working on God's strength. All right, you got God's strength in you. All right, you got God's strength. All right. So when you keep coming back, when you keep bouncing back, when they knock you down and you keep getting up. All right. When you look up and keep getting up, right? You coming back better than ever, and you're coming back stronger than before each time. Each and every time they knock you down, each and every time they try to make you quit, each and every time they try to stop you, you come back stronger. They try to wipe you out. They try, they try, they try to wipe you out. They try to take you out. All right. They try to do the hoodoo on you. They try to do the voodoo on you, the hex, the spell. They try to do it all. The only thing they're doing is sending themselves to hell. They don't understand. That, that stuff is not going to stop you from doing well. They just don't get it, all right? Everything that they try to do. It, 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 a lot of these things, now that you're becoming more aware, and 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 a lot of these things, you're, you're, you're stopping these things. You're reversing these spells. You're reversing these curses. These things are falling back on them in real time, all right? Because you're realizing that all you have to do is keep praying. You realize that all you have to do is pray these, uh, these negatives up off of you. Pray these negatives up off of you, all right? That's all you got to do to get rid of the negatives is just keep praying them up, praying them up off of you, all right? Because uh, uh, there, there are people in disguise. There are people who you you, you you don't see. There are people who are low radar. There are people who are low key hating on you, wishing you the worst, wishing that you fail, wishing that you don't make it, wanting you to uh, not, not succeed and, and wanting you to fail big time. All right. Some of them, some of them are low radar. Some of them you already know. All right. But some of them, they're real sneaky and, 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 and think they're detectives studying your life, following you everywhere you go, 
watching your every move, trying to uh, stress you out, trying to vex you out. All right. All because uh, uh, you you have a level of anointing. You have a level of of you have a level of, 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 of energy that they can't get with. All right. Your energy is too strong when your energy enters the room, when your energy enter, enters the scene, when your en- energy touches down on the vicinity. Everybody's looking. Everybody's paying attention. And a lot of people don't like that you have that type of energy and, and they don't. All right. A lot of people will be energy vampires to a person like that. They'll try to take your energy from you. All right. But what you have to do, what you have to realize is that you got to start repelling some of this negative energy. You got to instead of absorbing it, you got to send it back. All right. Instead of absorbing it, you got to you got to boomerang it back to where it came from. Instead of and instead of just accepting it as negative energy and not seeing anything that you could do with it, you got to repel that negative energy. You got to already know in advance these people are trying to wipe you out. You have to already know in advance these people are trying to take you out. And what you do is you pray against it. You pray against these witches. You pray against these warlocks. You pray against this negative energy. You pray against the evil demonic powers that be that are trying to wipe you out and take you out and that keep coming back at you every single day. All right. You keep praying against their witchcraft. You keep breaking them down. They try to break you down. You break them down into a finer molecule because they can't break down God. All right. They may be able to take you down. They may be able to to knock you back. They may be able to 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 uh, make you make you take a day off. All right. It doesn't matter what they what they are able to do is still not going to stop you from becoming successful. All right. It's still not going to stop you from rising to the top. It's still not going to stop you from, uh, taking your rightful place, taking your power back, taking your, um, taking your gifts and your talents and, and working your way to, and, and working your way towards the path of, of righteousness, towards the path of enlightenment, towards the path of, of riches and success and prosperity that God has for you. All right. They're trying to stop you from reaching your promised land. They're trying to stop you from, from reaching your destiny. They're trying to stop you from getting where you, you really need to go. All right. And, and they can't stop you from, from getting where you need to go. They can't stop God in your life. They can't stop God's plan for your life. So the one thing you have to realize is that each and every time they try to stop you, each and every time they try to block you, each and every time they watch you, you come back better and better and better and better than ever. All right. You're showing them exactly what they're looking for. All right. They, they, they want to take you out, but at the same time, they want to see how, how great you could be. So since they want to see how great you are, since they want to test your strength, they really don't know where you're strength comes from so they failed that test all right they tried to test your strength they failed that test because they don't know where your strength comes from your strength comes from a holy place it comes from a righteous place all right your your strength comes from a never-ending place all right they can't make you they couldn't make you quit if they tried all right so the one thing that they're gonna have to realize is that you keep coming back are you like the energizer bunny all right you keep coming back all right there's there's nothing in their power that they can do to take your hands off that dream to take your 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 eyes off the prize to take your mind off that vision it's nothing they can do they can't stop you you just you you, you, you just you like the terminator all right you just won't quit you can't stop you won't stop you can't quit and you won't quit there's something inside of you all right you got certain genes you got certain certain things in your dna that just won't allow you to stop that just won't allow you to put it down that just won't uh, allow you to accept the idea of being a quitter all right not only that you not only can you not quit you can't even accept the idea of quitting all right you can't even ex- accept the idea of being able to stop you can't accept the idea of not being able to continue what you already started all right you they they, they try to stop you but you already saw yourself at the finish line you already saw this thing completed all right they, you, they can't stop what they didn't start they can't stop what they what they uh, uh can't finish you've already finished it you've already seen yourself at the finish line you've already seen this done this thing done a thousand times in your mind you've already lived through this you've already put your hands up you've already shot the confetti you've already broke the 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 the, the uh finish line you've already broke through and crossed that checkered line they've already celebrated you and, and put your name in, in, in bright lights and and uh let the smoke clear and they, they done already celebrated you all right you done already got your trophy it's already on your mantle in your living room you already see it every time you wake up and walk out into your living room you see it your, your name shining on that nice gold glistening shiny trophy all right you know the only way that 
that you could have kept coming back and, and, and kept coming back stronger is because of that power that you have, that secret power that you have, that never ending power that you have. It's not going to quit. It's not going to stop. It won't let up. All right. You, you got the uh, 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 battery in your back. All right. You, you have certain energies and certain qualities about yourself that people could only dream of. That's why you walk around and everybody copies you and watches you and people want to be you. People dressing like you, people walking like you, people talking like you. You go here, they go there. You go there, they go there. Whatever you do, everybody does it. You got people competing with you that don't even know you. You got people trying to get your attention every chance you get. You got people trying to get in your eyesight, want you to look at them. They trying to drain you and your energy. They, they, they're they trying to make you focus on them. All right, they don't want you to focus on yourself because you're too powerful. You're too strong. When they see you over there by yourself chilling, they know you think it's something powerful. They know you think it's something great. They know you're thinking of a way to get ahead. And they got to stop that because they're jealous and they hate it and they hate you. And you know that, but guess what's stronger than all that? Guess what's, what, what, what is more powerful than all that? Guess what, what can stop and crush and destroy and, and obliterate all that? The power of God, all right? Because God is going to see you through all that, all their traps, all their, all their snares, all the snakes, all the scorpions, all the evil, all the energy vampires, all the narcissists, all the, 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 the stalkers, the gang stalkers. There's nothing that... Um, that there's nothing that can stop the power that's working for your life. All right, those they're, they're, those may be powers that are working against your life, but there's nothing that can stop the power that's working for your life. And that power that's working for your life is the thing that wakes you up every morning and that puts you to sleep every night. That thing that keeps you that thing that keeps you out of harm's way. All right, that thing that keeps you strong when your strength feels depleted. All right, that thing that keeps you getting up when you don't feel like you can get up. That thing that keeps you going when you don't feel like you can keep going. All right, that thing. That, that that lets you know everything is going to be all right when things look bleak, when things look negative, when things don't look like they're going to be positive, when, when it looks like the enemy's got you in his grasp and, 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 and it looks like he's not going to let go and it looks like there's nothing that you can do. It looks like you lost already. Looks like it's not going to work out. Looks like uh, uh, they, looks like their plans are going to be stronger than yours. It looks like what they want and, and, and how bad they want it is going to happen more than what you want for your life. But guess what? I got another... They, they got another thing coming, all right, because God's got something in store for you, all right, and that's that comeback power, all right, and you're going to come back better than ever, you're going to come back bigger than ever, you're going to come back stronger than ever, and unfortunately, e even if they are bitter than ever, all right, you may be better than ever, they may end up being bitter than ever, but that's just the way it is, all right, sometimes when you become better, people become bitter. Sometimes when, when when you become your greatest version, they become their hatest version, all right, because they're the latest version. You're the greatest version, they're the latest version. All right, you're 5.0, they're 1.3. All right, you're 5.0, they're 1.9. All right, they can't compete to, to what you have. They can't compete to who you are. All right, they're trying to compete with you, but they can't compete with you even if they tried because they just don't have what you have inside. Everybody has something different. Everybody has something great, but what you have it's not what they have what they what you have what they have is not what you have but they're trying to compete with you there so if that's the case they're not tapping into their own greatness they're trying to be just like you so if that's the case they're not tapping into their own greatness they're trying to stop you and if somebody's trying to stop you they cannot possibly be trying to tap into their own greatness because they're tapping into their own fateness and their own hateness and their own lateness all right and their own weakness because if they are trying to stop you they're not being great if they're too busy hating on you they're not too busy being great and that's what you just don't understand. People are too busy, focused on the wrong things, putting their energy in the wrong things. So that's why they're not building their energy up like you. That's not why they're they're not becoming great like you. That's why they're not doing great things with their time like you. They're too busy focused on others. They're too busy trying to stop somebody else. They're too busy hating on the next person. They're too busy hating on the next man, hating on the next woman, hating on the next gentleman, hating on the next female. They don't want to see you guys make it because they see that you're great. They see that you're headed for the stars and they see that you're headed for a brand new car. All right. They see you're headed for a place that only you should be. They see you're headed for your rightful position in life. All right. And nobody could take what's yours. Nobody could take what the good Lord has in store for you. You've been working. You've been patient. You've been toiling diligently. You've been praying. You've been praying for success. You've been praying for wealth. You've been praying for health. You've been praying for other people and you've been praying for yourself. You've been praying so hard. 
that uh, uh, the, the demons are are frustrated, they're upset, they see your light and they want to stomp it out. But guess what? They're going they, they, they're going to end up breaking their foot. They're going to end up breaking their ankle. They're going to end up slipping, falling, and breaking it all in because they can't stop what God has planned for you. All right, they they want you to give up. They want you to let go of all your positive ideas. They want to turn you into them. They want to they want to, to punish you with negativity because you're a positive person. All right. They, they want to break you down because you're a happy person. They hate your joy. They hate your positivity. They hate your strength. They wish it didn't exist, but too bad. All right. They can't stop you from being the person that God created you to be. God created you to be that happy person. God created you to be that rich person. God created you to be that strong person. So now they know exactly who they're dealing with each and every time they try to stop you each and every time. They try to clock you each and every time they watch you and clock you all right, and watch your every move, clock your every move. All right. They try to stop your every move. They cannot make you quit. They cannot uh, 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 try to, to ruin the plans that are already set in place for you. There's something so great and so magical and so wonderful and so magnificent and so fantastic and, 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 and so great. That, that, that is waiting for you, that the enemy just has to try to stop it. All right, your, your, your plan is not like anybody else's plan. Your purpose is not like anybody else's purpose. You got people trying to attack you from all angles. You got this person trying to stop you, that person trying to stop you. They got the mailman trying to stop you. They got other people trying to stop you. They got people you don't even know, people who shouldn't even be worried about you and focused on you, trying to stop you. As soon as you step outside, you see all the spiritual warfare and all the plots and all the schemes and all the traps and you you solely just keep focusing on yourself and you don't pay them no mind because these these, these people need attention these demons require attention all right you keep starving them out keep starving these demons out because god says do not go looking for them there's nothing that they can do they're scared of you you are powerful you are almighty powerful you have almighty power they cannot stop the almighty power of god within you and that's what they're trying to do they don't understand where your strength comes from and where your power power comes from. You're not uh, leaning on your own understanding. You're not leaning on your own power. You're not leaning on your own strength. You are leaning on the almighty power of God. And that's just something that they can't stop. That's something that they can't fathom. That's why it seems like you got unlimited energy. That's why it seems like you ain't never tired. That's why it seems like you could bounce back. That's why it seems like even when you want to quit, even when you want to give up, you still do a little something, something. You still keep coming back. You still don't stop because it's, just, it's something in you that they cannot make you let go of. It's something in you that they just can't figure out. They can't figure out how you just keep coming back stronger and stronger each and every time. All right. They tried to wipe you out. They tried to make you quit. They tried to take you out, but guess what? You just keep coming back. All right. There's, there's something in you that won't allow you to quit. There's something in you that won't even let you to conceive the idea of quitting. All right. They, they're dealing with a real done data. All right. They really, they dealing with the realest of the real. All right. They dealing with the real deal. Holy field. All right. You you are one of the best. You are one of the greatest. You are one of a kind. You are amazing. And it's, it's something in you that is not in them. And they wish it would stop. They wish it would quit. They wish it didn't exist. They're mad at you for using your gifts. They're mad at you for trying. They're mad at you for believing. They're mad at you for proving them wrong. All the negative things they're saying about you, you don't even care anymore. All the negative things they're doing to you, it doesn't even affect you anymore because you're rising up. You're raising your consciousness. You're raising your awareness to a level of power that you are able to tap into to where these demonic forces are not able to affect you. All right. They may form their negativity against you. They may form their evil plans against you. They may form their evil plots against you. They may form their evil groups against you, but they will not prosper. You are bringing people together that don't even like themselves. You're bringing people together that would normally hate themselves and normally wouldn't even be speaking. Now you got them being fake and ha ha because they got a common enemy you they're coming together to try to stop you you are that powerful you make people that don't even like each other come together to try to stop one person they got to try to stop you 8 12 13 20 of them they can't stop you even all 40 of them they can't stop you even all 100 of them doesn't matter how many who many them her him they <clears throat> doesn't matter who comes up against you, Art, because it, it doesn't matter who is against you because you know who is for you. God is for you, so it doesn't matter 
who is against you. Doesn't matter how many people come up against you because God is for you. All right. They, the whole, they may hate you. Everybody may hate you. It may not even be one person that loves you, but you focus on that love from God. All right. You focus on that protection from God. You focus on that negative energy being returned to sender. You focus on them energy vampires being blocked. You focus on that witchcraft being blocked. You focus on all those negative spells being blocked. You focus on all that negative energy uh, returning the sender and only affecting the people who are sending it out and it not affecting you. All right, you, you, you pray for protection over yourself. You pray for protection over negative energy and negative forces that may be trying to stop you and wipe you out and take you out so that you can't perform, so that you can't do your best, so that you can't come back. But what they don't realize is every time they do try to wipe you out, every time they do make you sit down for a little minute, you just keep coming back stronger. It's like weight training for you. They try to put pressure on you. They try to put you down. It just makes you come back stronger. All right, when you, a, a, a diamond has a level of toughness. It has a level of, of hardness because all the pressure that it goes through. So they're just increasing your hardness level. They're just increasing your shine. They're just increasing your ability to be tougher. All right. They're making you tougher. They're making you stronger. They're making you better. Each time you don't quit, each time you don't give up, each time you keep coming back. All right. You, 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 you have a, a different level, a different strength. It increases each and every time you come back better. You come, you don't come back bitter. You come back stronger. They try to weaken you. They try to weaken your power. They try to, to, to lay you out flat, but you just keep coming back better. They're bitter because you're better. So when you're working towards becoming better, when you're working towards not being bitter and other people aren't working on themselves, other people just want it easy. Other people just want to change instead of making a change. See, people just want to change instead of making a change. You are making changes in your life and there's somebody out there that hates you for it. You are making changes in your life and that little bit of, of, of increase, that little bit of becoming better, you think nobody sees it, but they got a magnifying glass on it because they're watching you through, through a fine-tuned magnifying glass. All right, they're watching your every move. They're watching you wipe your nose, brush your hair. They're watching you scratch your face. They're watching you uh, 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 tickle your ear. They're watching you fix your shirt. They're watching you do everything. They, you, you think you're just taking a sip of water and ain't nobody looking. Somebody is looking. You think you're just standing there minding your business. Somebody is watching. They watch you so close like you're underneath a magnifying glass. All right, They, they watch you like a paramecium and they're a scientist looking for germs or something. They're trying to see what's, what's so special about you. They're trying to see what makes you so special, what makes you so great, what makes you so unique, what makes you so interesting. What makes you so different? What makes you so better? It's because you choose not to be bitter. That's what makes you better. Out of all that you're going through, you choose to not allow it to get to you to the point to where you affect, it allows you to affect other people in a negative way. you rather not say anything than say something bad. All right? if, if you don't have anything good to say, what a, you just don't say nothing at all. But they can't do that. They have to say something bad. They think something negative, they have to say it. They got something cruel and rude and nasty to say, they have to say it. They can't just keep their mouth closed, all right? And they they pick, they pick paint you as the one who can't keep their mouth closed. They paint you as the one who's mean and who's rude, who has something negative to say. But they turned you into that person, all right? People will take a calm, chill, relaxed, peaceful person and try to turn that person inside out. They'll try to wear that person out. All right, they'll put so much pressure on you. They'll try to uh, trigger you and stress you out and turn you into that negative, mean person, that evil spirited person, because that's who they are. They got an evil, mean spirit. They can only smile and be happy and get along when they put you down. They can only feel good about themselves when they're on top. They can't feel good next to you. They can't feel good standing beside you. They can't feel good working with you. They got to try to put you down and take you out. They got to put you beneath them. That's the only time they feel happy around you is when you're beneath them. Is when you're suffering at their fate, when you're suffering at their hand. That's the only time they like you. That's the only time they want anything to do with you is when you're doing bad, when you're sad, when you're down, and when you're not glad. That's the only time they like to come around. They like to come around when they see you doing your worst because that's the only time they can take you. They can't take you when you're doing better. So when you start to do better and get out of these little pitfalls and these little negative situations, they got to try to bring you back down because they don't like you when you're on your way up. They got to bring you back down because they don't like to see you rise up. They don't like to see you come up. They don't like to see you improve, even if it's the slightest bit. Doesn't matter if they've got the whole world. If they see you catch an a island, if they see you get a piece of land, they, they, they're unhappy. 
because now they feel that you're in competition with them. They feel because you're becoming great, you're trying to stop them. Your greatness ain't got nothing to do with them. You you becoming great and you be you doing the best that you could do has absolutely zero has zilch to do with them, nothing to do with them. Your purpose is your purpose. Your success is your success. They just can't take the fact that you're not going to allow them to stop you. You're not going to allow their opinion to stop you. They've laughed at you and couldn't stop you. They have gave you advice and couldn't stop you. They said something negative to you and couldn't stop you. They tried to play you and couldn't stop you. They tried to break you down and bring you down and couldn't stop you. There's nothing that they could do to stop you because you just won't quit. And that's the one thing that's making them mad, that you keep coming back better than ever instead of bitter than ever. All right. They 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 keep looking for who they're dealing with. And you keep showing exactly you keep showing them exactly who they're dealing with each and every time they they wish they could stop you so bad. They wish that they would just make you just give up on everything. You know what? I'm not going to do this anymore. People don't like what I'm doing. People have a problem with it. I'm going to stop because they feel some type of way about it. It ain't that kind of party. You have to keep going because God has a gift for you. All right, there's a light for you at the end of the tunnel. God wants you to keep doing this. You keep seeing the angel numbers. You keep seeing the synchronicities, letting you know that you're on the right path. So keep going. Yes, the devil's going to try to stop you. Yes, the devil's going to use people to try to get in your way. Yes, the devil is not going to like to see you rising up and completing your mission, Completing your task, all right, uh, 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 reaching toward the mark, not um, allowing him to get in your way, not allowing him to distract you, because that's what people want. People want the attention of somebody who keeps all their attention to themselves. People want the attention of someone that realizes how valuable they are. People want the attention of somebody who don't give their attention to nobody unless they deserve it. And you're, you you got to be stingy with your attention. You have to treat yourself uh, better than anyone you know. You have to put yourself first. You can't just be willingly giving your energy to people who don't deserve it. Because this is Babylon. What are these people really talking about? People are just babbling on. They want to have a random conversation that doesn't mean anything, that drains your energy, that makes you feel tired at the end of what they get done saying, and they just walk away with all your energy because they've been annoying you for the past 15 minutes. They've been annoying you for the past 5, 10 minutes, and you, you don't have to let people get away with that. They think they could just come into your life, drain you of your energy, and they keep going. No, not anymore. You set that boundary. You tell you end that conversation. You see that conversation is not going anywhere. You're not going to be bitter with them. You're working towards becoming better, and you have to watch out for the traps that people are going to set for you because they're bitter. You got people who don't like to see you improve. You got people who don't like to see you take your mind from a negative place to a happy place. All right, Some people don't like the fact that you can use your mind like a Rubik's Cube. They try to hit you with the whammy. They try to hit you with the Warcraft. You ch -ch 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 -ch, say your little prayer, send a negative energy to God, and keep it moving. They don't like that. The fact that they're not able to affect you. All right. Even if you have to deflect tw from 20 people, even if you got to deflect all of them, keep it up. All right. And keep praying before you leave the house. Keep praying before you get to where you're going. Keep praying ahead of time that God will protect you and guide you and keep negative energy away from you and keep um, all their traps and, and all their uh, all their snakish evil ways away from you. Whatever they try to set up against you, whatever they try to use against you, whatever they try to do to you, it won't prosper. All right. They may be able to form it, but it's not going to prosper. The negativity will not touch you. All right. I pray that you pray in the morning. I pray that you pray in the afternoon. I pray that you pray at night. I pray that you pray protection over yourself continuously, 24 seven, all day, every day. That's the only thing that's going to keep these negative energies away from you. That's the only thing that's going to keep you coming back better and better and not bitter and bitter because there are a lot of bitter people out here and your energy rubs off on people. They don't want to take in your positive energy. So what they want to do is that like, see, they'll try to drain your energy and won't even allow it to change them. They, they want your energy, but they don't even want it for anything, anything useful other than to drain you of it. Only, oh, they only want your energy just to deplete you of it and just so they can feel good. That's it. Because you won't, you won't talk to them. You won't praise them. You won't um, worship them. 
So they you, they're used to getting energy that way. So since they, they you won't give it to them that way, they're gonna try to take it from you in a negative way, in a form of a negative reaction, in the form of making you upset and depressed because they don't want to see you smile, they don't want to see you shine, they don't want to see you happy, they don't want to see you successful. So they try to wipe you out. So they try to take you out. They try to make you give up on life, but they can't make you give up on life because you're a fighter. You ain't never going to stop fighting. You ain't never going to give up for the likes of them. You're never going to give up for the likes of anybody because there's nobody on God's green earth that can stop you. There's no demon, no warlock, no witchcraft, no, no negativity that can stop God. All right. Your angels are protecting you. Your ancestors, ascended masters, the universe, God, Jesus, everybody's protecting you. All right. You got God in you. You got Jesus in you. You just have to make sure that you pray all day, every day, because it's not a game out here. Those one a day, once a week prayers, that's not going to cut it. Those before uh, night prayers, waking up in the morning prayers, that's great, but that's not going to cut it. You got to pray every day. You got to cease without praying. Because the times that we're living in right now, we, you got people siphoning off your energy. You got people that are spying on you. You got uh, uh, random people out here who don't have nothing else better to do but to find somebody that's high vibrational, hate on them, and make them feel bad about themselves. Even if you're just trying to go out to the store, even if you're just trying to go to the post office, even if you're just waiting outside for a ride, even if you're catching your Lyft, you're catching your Uber, all right, you're just minding your business, you're going to the beach, you got people out here that are looking for people to drain their energy, and there are people, there are witches that go to specific places and look look for specific people, all right, you got people placing stickers in places that you don't even know, all right, that every time people walk past certain spots, their energy gets drained. You got to pray, all right, because you, you never know what people are up to. You never know what type of ills and negativities and, and, and demonic people that are out here trying to steal your energy, trying to warp you, trying to zap you. So what you have to do is you have to pray against these things. And when you pray every day, when you pray when you wake up, when you pray before you leave, when you pray before you get in your car, when you pray before you drive to where you're going, when you pray before, when you get to where you're going, there's nothing that's going to be able to harm you. All right. When you pray, when you leave from where you're going, you have to pray, 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 and constantly be asking God to watch over you and keep you keep these demonic forces away from you because these people are trying to stop you. You got this good energy. You're feeling good. There's people out there that are envious of that. There are people out there that want to stop you for that. There are people out there that don't want to see that. They want to kill that negative energy. They want to kill that happiness. They want to kill that joyful spirit. So you have to protect that. You have to, if the joy of the Lord is your strength, you have to keep going back to him for more strength and to continue to stay strong. All right, because you have to, they are trying to wipe out that strength. They're trying to take your mind off God, to, to take your mind off that power, take your mind off that strength so they can weaken you. That's why they're trying to come at you from all different angles, from all different points, from all different places. That's why so many people trying to stop you at once. It's like you have to focus. You really have to focus because all the people that are gang stalking you, it's more than one person. When you're that great, when, when people are watching you, when you're high radar, Right. When people when everyone when you walk outside and it seems like the whole world is just paying attention to you and everybody's trying to steal your focus, that makes a person question their reality and their sanity. And they know they're doing that to you. And you see it. You see them working together. Yes, several businesses could work together to try to stop one person. Yes, separate groups of 10 and separate groups of 20 can work together to try to stop one person. Yes, it's a business over here and a business over there and a business over there. And they all see you and they all trying to stop you. Yes, it's, yes, it's true. It's, it's very true. So you have to pray for your sanity. You have to pray for strength. You have to pray for encouragement because who, who's going to believe that? No one's going to believe that. You got this people trying to stop you, those people trying to stop you, these people trying to stop you. No one's going to believe that. You can't go to anybody and talk to them about that. You can't go to the authorities and be, yo, I got several businesses on this block that are trying to stop me because they see me becoming successful and they don't want to see me make it become anything. Uh, sir, please stop wasting our time. Call us back when you're in danger if you have something more serious to talk about. We're, we we have rural issues to deal with, sir. We appreciate your concern. Thank you for awareness, but um, there's nothing we can do about that. Are they doing anything to you? 
Are they saying anything to you? Are they harming you? No, it's called covert narcissism. And covert narcissists, covert uh, uh, energy vampires, covert demonic beings are trying to get in your head and trying to drain you and zap you of your energy by making you feel bad about yourself because you're choosing greatness, because you're choosing to let your light shine, because you're choosing to become something instead of just laying down, being defeated, becoming defeated, letting them defeat you, and just just being in your defeatedness, being in your 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 solemnness, being in your negativity. All right, they want you to be down, but you keep rising up. They want to depress you and stress you and vex you, but you don't let you 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 don't let them stop the blessed you because you're blessed. You got all these gifts and all them talents. You got all this positive energy. You don't let them stop you from being the blessed you. All right, you're too blessed to be stressed. They they want to stress you, but God wants to bless you. They try to stress you, but God has blessed you. All right, so if you're blessed, hit that like button, hit that share button, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching this video with me. All right, thank you for for recharging with me, getting this uh, uh, motivational charge up, getting this motivational battery put in your back because we're coming back better than ever. We're coming back stronger than ever because we know where our strength comes from. They think we get we drawing strength from us, but we're not we're not getting our strength just from us solely by ourselves all right this 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 ain't a this ain't a a, a one man band man all right we we we, we you know, it's several people it's several forces that are on our side it may be several forces that are against us and we see that we know that but all we have to do is focus on the several forces the powerful forces the positive forces that are on our side and we have to cancel out any negative force trying to pull at our energy for evil for 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 evil purposes all right we have to rebuke any negative forces pulling at our energy field for the purposes of evil lord we rebuke any force pulling at any negative evil force pulling at our energy for for the wrong reasons for the wrong purposes let us not go let us not come near any negative people let us be so far away from the wrong for, let us be so close to the right people that the wrong people are so far away from us that they can't do anything to us, Lord. So please protect our energy. Please protect our mind, our spirit, our body, our astral body, our spiritual body, our physical body. Please protect us in the physical realm as well as in the spiritual realm. And any negative forces, please, please blind them and bind them on earth and in heaven. And please destroy any forces against us in the spiritual realm and in the physical realm. Please keep us protected. Please keep us safe. And please keep that hedge of protection over us our spirit and our energy because there are witches out here there's warlocks out here there's demonic beings out here that people think it's a game but you got people you that person is not just standing over there watching you that person is trying to siphon and steal your energy some people are watching you for good some people are watching you trying to steal your energy you can't just act like everybody is out here all good and smiles and rainbows and cotton candy and all these good things you should see all these good things and expect the best, but you still have to pray for the demonic forces. So you don't have to, you don't got to trip. You don't got to go looking for these people. You don't got to trip every time somebody's staring at you. But what you do have to do is pray against every evil force you that's pulling at your energy for the purposes of evil. Every every negative force, every demonic force that's pulling at your energy for evil. That's what we do pray against when we're out in public. That's what we do pray against when we're when we're on our journey, when we're traveling, when we're going back and forth to wherever we need to go. Please keep us safe. Please keep us protected, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, so everybody that's been dealing with energy vampires, everybody that's been dealing with people trying to wipe you out, you repel that negative energy, all right? When you see these people trying to wipe you out, when you see these people looking for who they're really dealing with, when you see these people looking for the real deal, when you see these people looking for somebody with big energy, you got to repel that energy, you got to repel that negativity. When you see these people trying to hit you with certain frequencies, when you see these people trying to wipe you out, with their evil negative looks, looking at you time and time again, and with their gang stalking, with their following, with their negativity, you have to continue to stay strong. You have to continue to repel these energies and repel these forces and return this negative energy back to them. You have to pray that you don't absorb these negative forces. You have to pray that you don't absorb their, ne their negativity and their negativity because the negatives and the negatives will try to wipe you out with their negative energy, with their hate. All right, they're hating on you, they're jealous of you, and they want you to feel that. 
time and time again after you feel a negative, hateful energy, that's going to wipe you out. So what you have to do instead of absorbing all that, you have to pray against that in advance. You know you're going to meet some people that don't like you. You know you're going to see some people that hate your guts. You know you're going to see some people that send negative energy your way. So what you're going to have to do is destroy that. You're going to have to destroy these attacks. You're going to have to destroy these demons by sending that negative energy back to where it came from. You're going to have to repel that negative energy. You're going to have to repel these forces in advance. You're going to have to be a prayer warrior for your protection. You're going to have to be a prayer warrior for your peace. You're going to have to be a prayer warrior for that light that you carry because not everybody likes to see that. Not everybody likes to see you shine. Not everybody likes to see you be happy. Not everybody likes to see you be joyful. So what you're going to have to do is the people that are coming against you to destroy that happiness, that's wickedness. All right, And, that, and, and, the, and when they come against you, overtly and try to act like they're not doing anything but oh they are that spiritual warfare you got to you got to defeat these people in the spiritual realm you got to defeat these people spiritually to combat them physically all right and God's going to help you do it so pray to him ask him for strength and ask him to keep you strong i'd like to thank everybody for watching this video shout out to the chosen vessels shout out to the galactic family and salute to Drew Nation. All right, if you made it with me to the end, my friend, you are a real chosen vessel. Throw that V up for the GCVs because we're the greatest, baby. I'd like to thank you all. I'll see you all in the next video. They can't stop us. They ain't going to never be able to. And good luck uh, to you on all your goals, all your dreams, and all your endeavors. All right, I'll see you all in the next video. It's been another Drew 2 special. Shout out to the chosen vessels where we came to give you more and never less. All right, so I'll see everybody in the next video. Peace.